Hello, it's Kristen Bryant with Stamping with Kristen. Today I want to show you a card using More Than Autumn bundle. I just um, started using this. This is the very first card I decided to make and I'm going to do donuts <laughs> because I love donuts. My very first job was working in a bakery and I still love donuts. So um, when I saw this set, I see all there's great coffee and pie and fall things, but I thought I'm gonna focus on the donuts first. So I'm gonna um, turn the camera around and show you the card. All right, I am working for my island today. I thought I would just do something different. I'm gonna be using um, bubble bath cardstock and I cut this down at four and a quarter um, to get the half sheet that way. More than autumn bundle. This is in our um, fall winter mini catalog. And you can see it's got all kinds of great um, words on there. And I love it when we also get words that we can um, die cut as well. I'm going to be using nothing better than um, for this one. I'm also going to be using the donuts. I'm going to set those aside. So I have those. I'm also going to be using, can you see this well love? This is like my fourth pack of this. We had it last year too. Um, the bright and beautiful six by six pack. I'm going to be using uh, this piece with it. It's got, it's very burst in there. So I've cut this so that it is uh, one and three fourths by uh, four and a quarter. So um, I'll set that aside for now. And actually, I'm gonna adhere it right away. Then it's just done. So here I have my bubble bath that I just folded in half. And I'm gonna put some adhesive on this designer series paper. And I'm gonna put this right along there. I'm going to be doing, um, using this trim. This comes in a two pack of gold and silver. And um, I'm actually using um, gold for some of my Christmas cards. Um, I like to plan my Christmas cards early so then I can, like for this case, use the, the silver uh, on other projects. Um, that way I don't have uh, a bunch of silver spools after I've done all the gold for my Christmas cards. So I'm gonna be tying this uh, in a bow just on the um, real edge of it because my, um, the rest of my card will kind of go over, over it a little bit. So just gotta have a bow kind of on the edge there. And I'm gonna get my paper snips and cut that off on the edge there. So this is why I cut it this way. That way you can um, have the ribbon go around easily and it doesn't interfere with the card. So I have uh, this piece here is um, three, <laughs> I have to think here. Um, it's four and a quarter by three. And I'm actually, and you know what? I messed up. This is one and a half inches because I had a three inch one. This is one and a half by four and a quarter. Sorry about that. I need to stop the video because I just realized my cut pieces of white aren't here. So hold on a second. All right, here we go. So this one is, this fits on the inside. This is two and three fourths by four. So they're just a quarter of an inch bigger with the berry burst. So on this piece, I am gonna stamp um, using berry burst. I'm gonna get the donuts out of here. And I'm gonna just stick this on here. So I'm gonna put the donuts kind of in the middle, but over to the side. So right about right here. There we go. And then now I'm gonna stamp the donut. Which, oh my goodness, that's not in here either. Now I see why I don't stamp uh, outside the studio because I don't have everything with me. All right, so I'm gonna stamp this donut and I'm going to just go off the edge a little bit there. And so I'm gonna stamp one like that, another one here, and a final on a separate piece of paper because this one I will die cut and then cut out. Now I am going to color these in and you may think this is kind of funny, but I'm using crumb cake, the light crumb cake, to be the kind of the cake part of the donut or raised. I prefer raised donuts over cake donuts. Although I love a good blueberry cake donut. Anyone craving donuts? I actually went to the apple orchard yesterday. There's a local apple orchard here that has the best apple cake donuts. Love them. Warm them up for a few seconds in the microwave and it is such a treat. I, uh, 
it's funny because I only have, well, now Abigail got back from Peru this morning. And so um, now I'm back to four in my house, but there were only three of us. So I had to like, huh, should I be buying as many as I'm buying? Uh, anyway, so I did the light crumb cake there. And then now I'm going to use um, just some bright fun colors. This is Azure Afternoon. And so I'm going to have this one um, be up here. I just want it to be a bright, fun card. If you love donuts, let me know in the comments. Do you prefer cake or raised, or do you like danishes? There's just all kinds of donuts. Apple fritters are great too. <laughs> this one I'm gonna use Berry Burst to color it in. And I'm using the blends. You could use your markers or any other way you like to color in. I just tend to, this one I actually need to be replacing. I have, I'm using crumb cake on my Christmas cards. And so I've, um, yes, I'm saying Christmas cards in September. This is a record for me. I told myself I'm definitely gonna start this year. But anyway, I've had to buy extra because when you're making 250 cards, you end up going through a lot of ink. All right, and then this last one, I'm gonna do the uh, Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm doing the light one. Um, you could do darker if you wanted to. This one is much better, I think, than the last one. So far, I'm not hating my Christmas cards. Sometimes I get, actually, what usually happens is I start at the beginning of December after I've sworn I'm not gonna do that again. And then by the end, like I can't stand them because I'm having to like do them nonstop. So it's not as fun when you are under the wire and wanting to get it out at a certain time. So anyway, these are uh, what I have here. I'm gonna cut this out with the die. And um, when I'm doing this here, I'm gonna put a little post-it note on over the um, circle. All right, where did I set those? Dogs. I tell you today, <laughs> it's just kind of a, keep moving things around. Can you see that? Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna set this on here so that it doesn't move on me. It's just a post-it note. And then um, you can use this. So you've got your berry burst piece. I'm gonna just die cut this right in the middle because you're not gonna see that because I'm putting the white piece over it. So it's a way to not have to need another piece of another scrap. And uh, you're gonna be using that color. So might as well use what's already there. All right, so let's look. So isn't this awesome? It cuts it out so nicely. And then I'm just gonna pop out the little extra letters there. They really come out nicely. This is such an easy one, love it. And then here is my donut. All right, I'm gonna put these aside so I don't lose those. All right, so now on this, I am gonna put some adhesive on the back. You could use some adhesive. Ooh, that was almost bad. You could use some adhesive sheets on these. When I made my first one of this yesterday, I used the green glue, which probably would have been a better idea than what I'm trying to do here because I could easily rip it, which would not be good. All right, I think that should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this, nothing's better than here, and we've got the donuts. And then now I've got my one that I've popped up, or I die cut, when I have that stand up, because it's always good just to add some depth on there. And so now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna put some adhesive on each corner. And see, we're just covering that up. No one's gonna know that that is missing behind there. All right, and then, actually I forgot, I wanna pop this up too, just to make it a little higher. When I'm doing a bigger piece like this, I like to also add some in the middle, just so that it stays popped up better. And so now I'm just going to center this 
on here. So nothing's better than donuts. Isn't that fun? Great card. So more than autumn, great new bundle. It's kind of fun. And um, I'm going to start experimenting with the other things, but I definitely wanted to do a donut first just because of our love for donuts. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.